with Chief Meteorologist Josh Cozart. Sunshine, a welcome sight across western Oregon. Now those clear conditions made for kind of a chilly start to the day with all of that heat we built up yesterday escaping back out into the atmosphere, but definitely a welcome sight and warmer temperatures thanks to that abundance in sunshine as we progress through the afternoon hours. And it wasn't just those of us in the valleys that experienced it. Those along the coast, Bandon, getting in on those clear skies. Kirsten LeMay sending in this photo. You too can share yours. KVAL.com slash chime in to do so. With those daytime highs just exactly where they should be for this time of year into the low 50s up and down the I-5 corridor and 50s also found out along the coast with our current temperatures sitting in the upper 40s and north wind at about 9 miles per hour and humidity values at about 56%. Radar and satellite showing calm, quiet, clear conditions, but you'll notice the cloud bank just offshore. That's our next weather maker that will be increasing those rain chances for the start of the day tomorrow. National Weather Service already preparing with high surf advisories out along the coast. Winter storm warnings for eastern sections of Lynn County and for Lane County winter storm watches that's lasting through a Saturday morning with snowfall amounts nearing about a foot if not even two feet in some locations. This is all going to be above 3000 feet as high pressure keeps us on the dry side this evening. That won't be the case as it continues to drift its way to the south and east. The line for this next cold front to move its way into our neck of the woods, increasing the rain for the start of the day tomorrow. That's going to last through the majority of Thursday with showers possible as we progress into Friday. Friday and the first half of our weekend. You can see that here with our rundown. This is 6 a.m. rush hour as we expect to see the heaviest of rain move through then and then they become light rain showers throughout the rest of the day. Snowfall over the Cascades, so mountain pass travel likely going to be on the tricky side as we see a hefty amount of snow continue to fall and the gray skies they are going to stick with us for the next two days even into Friday and that puts our rainfall totals at close to a half inch on the lesser end about a tenth of an inch down towards Coos County with daytime highs returning to the 40s and 50s across western Oregon. Seven day forecast Eugene Springfield. The wet weather for the next two days will keep temperatures at bay into the upper 40s, making it feel like the beginning of February as opposed to the end. But 50s, they make a comeback for the weekend with a bit of sunshine poking through those clouds. A raindrop or two to dodge is also a possibility. But then that rain, it moves back in on Monday as our highs climb into the mid 50s for the middle of next week with more sunshine on the docket. We like to see that here across our region. Crew space Seven day forecast low 50s to round out the week and then into the weekend mid 50s make a comeback on Sunday rain returns on Monday. Quick glance at your Umpqua Valley seven day forecast low 50s for the next two days and then the 40s return Saturday, but that's short lived mid 50s return for Sunday. Don't go anywhere. KVAL News at five. We'll be right back after this.